All right, guys, so today I'm gonna be shooting this 30 inch axle to axle Hoyt Carbon RX3. This is what I've been using kind of in the off season, killed a mountain lion with it. And now I have a carbon RX3 Ultra and I wanna kind of switch to that bow. I feel like it's gonna be a better fit for me and I wanna show you the different string angles. If I have time, I'll kind of show you how I sight in uh, my sight as well. But just kind of wanna go head to head. I'm a shorter guy, I'm 5'7", and my draw length is 27 inches. So when you're talking about axle to axle and the angle the string creates, I just wanna show you the difference and we'll go from there. So I'll go ahead and shoot an arrow. Okay, and now we'll shoot the Ultra. So here's the Ultra. So we're gonna have a little more brace height and a lot, a bigger angle, if you will. So just check it out and see if you can tell the difference Draw cycle is really, really the same. Okay, so now that we got, we switched over to the Ultra, I'm gonna get my pin set at 20. I got my left and right dialed and I'm just gonna do like a French tune. I think that's what they call it, but just, I'm gonna walk back. So we're gonna shoot four or five arrows, starting here at 10 yards, and we're gonna work our way backwards, not moving the pin and just making sure our arrows are on the right axis. Walk back. Walk back. Walk back. Go check it out. I like that. This one's just slightly off, but I'd say overall. So we got 10, 20, 35, 50. 50 was a little over, but all in all, I'm real happy with that walk back. Now it's time for me to set my slider. And I'll do that by setting it at 20, walk back to 60, and I'm really gonna get those tick marks dialed. Uh, these are brand new strings. I want everything to settle, so I'll probably keep the tape off for at least a week, put 100 arrows through it, and then I'll put my final slider on. <laughs> 